Welcome, everyone. And I have the honor and privilege of introducing you today to Dr. Darren Schmidt, who has had extensive background with Systemic Formulas products for multiple years, many years now. Pristine example of how to utilize systemic formulas and how to help patients get better with systemic formulas, combinations, products, protocols, etc. He's had the opportunity to speak at many of our systemic formulas conferences and other webinars that we regularly hold. And I recall, uh, Dr. Darren, you received a standing ovation when you talked about a very insightful topic, lactic acidosis. We are going to go over different products that Dr. Schmidt has been able to learn how to use and carry and become an expert with. And uh, Dr. Darren, thank you for being on this podcast with us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Just a little bit of information about you. You have your website. You are the owner of the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. You have extensive background in nutrition response testing, clinical detoxification, diabetes. You have a lot of experience with herbology, nutritional therapy, brain health. People can find you on this website. Right. It stands for The Nutritional Healing Center Ann Arbor. And so there's many things they can look at. For example, I like the video layout. So you have a lot of different uh, video con You have a lot of video content on your website that people can look at and learn more. People can find you on YouTube. Another uh, unique insight is that you have taught 4,000 doctors plus and staff basic clinical uh, and management of a uh, nutrition practice. Over the years, I've uh led uh, quite a number of uh, weekend seminars. And then you also co-own um, two other companies, Power Nutrition Practice and The Good Fat Company. Right. So Power Nutrition Practice is a training company for doctors, um, meaning business and clinical nutrition practice um, training. And we have weekend seminars. We have some people fly in to Ann Arbor. They spend a day with me and my top associate, Carrie Credit, and we just dump everything that they need to know um, onto them in that day. And then they fly home and start to implement it. Um, but my practice is quite large. It's one of the, I, I would consider it, it's got to be like top 1% for private nutrition clinics. We, and the other one is uh, the Good Fat Bar. The uh, website is goodfat.bar. And it's a food bar that's uh, based, the base of it is cacao butter. So um, it's a high fat bar and it helps people get off sugar, you know, and it gives them energy for many hours and they taste really good. And I want to add in, because you had mentioned that <clears throat> uh, seminar that I gave at the Systemic Formula Sunshine Symposium, that was actually summer of 2016. What had happened was I had black mold poisoning, which I didn't even know about at the time was able to fix the symptoms with uh, old information from 1930s and 40s on lactic acidosis, which at the time, all the doctors were trying to fix. It's the mechanism of chronic disease. And um, in the last, you know, since then, it's been three years now, um, I did find the black mold. So that's the cause of my condition at the time. But addressing the mechanism is super important. I've had a lot of conversations with Shane Morris about this. And, and uh, based on what I was advising to him, he changed your B formula, the systemic formula uh, B vitamin, and he renamed it to uh, 16B. So that's the systemic formula's version of how to uh, address broadly the situation of lactic acidosis being the mechanism of chronic disease. So, and then, and then we'll get into this later, but the, you, ha you also have the causes, right? You have um, the uh, true cellular detox uh, program to address causes, et cetera. And then you also want to feed organs. So in order to feed organs, that's where the K kidney comes in and the, you know, the gallbladder support, liver support. So when I give lectures for power nutrition practice, it's all about addressing the cause and then finding and fixing the mechanism and there's there's multiple mechanisms there's not just lactic acidosis but there's more than that i've actually found 19 
mechanisms, which I haven't really talked about, but uh, the lactic acidosis is by far the most common for sure because our diet in the United States is so high in carbohydrates and that produces excess lactate in the blood and that has to be cleaned out and then you have a dysfunctional liver, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, B16 has got you know desk, uh, dried liver in it and uh, all these B vitamins to help the liver and help the cells clean out the toxicity out of their cells. So, the, so to finish that off, so fix the cause, fix the mechanism, and then number three, feed the organs so that the organs are functioning well. And when you when the organs function well, you get rid of symptoms, which is what allopathic medicine is. You have a symptom, you do something to the organ or you do something to the symptom to try to get it to go away. But in the holistic field, which is what we're all involved in, you know, don't forget to fix the cause. And there's only three main causes. One is toxicity, another one is pathogens, and the third one is excessive sugar metabolism. So um, basically every um, chronic condition can fall into those three causes. So, and then you have that little graphic up right now showing causes, mechanisms, and symptoms. The the 16B is, I mean, it's such a comprehensive B complex, and it's, to say the very least, it's a huge upgrade to the BSV, which used to be the B complex product of systemic formulas. It's, it's used in so many different protocols and so many different remedies. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Shane called it B16. What it is, in, in 1940, in the textbooks, it was known that there are 50 to 100 B vitamins. And you can get B vitamins from liver and uh, other. There's just a few other food sources. Nutritional yeast is one of them, and uh, rice bran. But what Shane did is he put together. He scoured the vendors and he found as many uh, commercially available B vitamins that he could find, and they put them all in that one pill. So, and then he called it B16. And one of the B vitamins in there is B16. And I said, well, I, I think you should call it 16B. So that way people know that there are 16 B vitamins in there. So that's why the, the name has actually been changed, right? From right into 16B. That's the story behind that. Those three uh, categories cause mechanism and fix the organs to get rid of the symptoms. That was taught to me by the founders of medicine, such as Dr. Henry Harrower, He's the father of endocrinology, Dr. Otto Warburg, the father of physiology. All those people told us how to treat chronically ill people. And that's what they said, those, do those three things. So I didn't make this up myself, right? This, these are in, this is 1932, 1928. So, but, so what's really great, for example, let's start with this true cellular detox program. So that's fantastic for getting rid of toxicity which is one of the three major causes. And another major cause um, is pathogens, which we'll get to here in a second. So you got BRM1, et cetera. And then um, regarding the diet, you wanna reduce the, sh the sugar and get people actually into ketosis. Okay, but getting back to this, uh, the True Cellular Detox Program, um, with the prep phase, I've had a number of people feel great on prep phase. I've had a number of people, they didn't feel any change at all. Um, I've had people feel worse on it. So if they felt worse on it, uh, maybe it's because they're detoxing and I have a conversation with them about that. And I may have them do another month of prep phase before we move on to the body phase. Um, but a lot of people just do one month of prep phase. And if they feel really good on prep phase, I may have them do another month. Okay, but if they didn't feel much change with prep phase, then I move them after one month, move them over to the body phase. Now, here is where people start detoxing as a general rule. And when I did it, I did five days of body phase. I had to stop for two days because the toxins are pulled out of your tissue. And then now they're circulating in your blood and your liver and your kidneys have to get rid of it. So it took me two days for my kidneys and liver to catch up. And then I did seven days of body phase and I had to stop for a day and let my body catch up. And then I finished off the last two weeks just fine. And that was a great experience. And having looking back, I should have done another month, maybe even three months of body phase. 
because that was get that was getting the black mold out. And again, it's good for toxins, you know, chemical toxins, heavy metal toxins. Um, but from my own personal experience, um, I have this um, large body of knowledge regarding black mold. And since I talk about that a lot, I get a lot of people with black mold and I put them on true cellular detox. And um, especially with, um, right, and I do long distance consulting too. I see people in the office and I consult on the phone. And the true cellular detox program is just so simple. You just follow the instructions on the side of the box. You know, once they get into the brain phase, I tell them you got to do uh, Cyto Detox Plus, and it's listed how to do it right on the side of the box. It keeps it really simple. And as people get better, um, you know, they, they they don't always feel good, right? Because they're detoxing. I'm like, this is great news. I'm glad that you're <laughs> having these detox side effects, and I try to help mitigate the detox side effects, but it's sort of a game. And, you know, it's kind of like every two months, I'm kind of hoping or looking to see that people feel better now. I'm sorry, two weeks. Like every two weeks, they should be feeling better than two weeks earlier. You know, so over the course of two months, three months, four months, they have this step-by-step -step improvement. And if there's any kind of problem holding them back, maybe, maybe you have to address fungus directly or parasites directly. Because as you're detoxing heavy metals, uh, the parasites start to, you know, they might become a, become a problem or fungus might become a problem. And again, this is the brilliance of muscle testing. When you see people locally, they're in the office. Um, but if you don't do muscle testing or if you're doing a phone consultation, you just have to listen very carefully to the symptoms and find out what organs are being affected and ask them uh, if they have symptoms related to fungus or parasites or bacteria, et cetera, et cetera. So um, there's my little spiel on the True Cellular Detox program. It's been, I think, I, I'm, I'm probably selling more of it now than when it first came out because, because of my personal experience with the black mold. And I could see how great it was. So I'm a big fan of that program. First-hand experience with something as significant as black mold. And I think a lot of people resort to this for heavy metal toxicity, but that's only just one piece of the puzzle. Oh yeah. In other words, and one thing I say a lot to patients is the uh, packaging is actually very easy, right? Like it's it looks simple. It's very simple to apply into your life. The complexity is in the pills. So when I say that, then there's like a, a little light bulb that goes off in their head about yeah, this is good stuff, even though it's like simple to accomplish, you know, simple to apply. So if we uh, kind of glance back here at some of these other formulas that you've used for some time now or your clinic and other other practitioners in your clinic have used, skin colonizer, for example, down at the bottom left, I know that you've you've done a little video on that. What have you found in particular of skin colonizer? Why has that been a unique uh, add to your practice? Well, the number one reason is because I use it for my own personal aftershave. So the deal is when you look at, uh, you know, pick 10 other probiotics for the skin topically applied, uh, nine of them will have no probiotic in it whatsoever. You just measure it in the lab, just what Shane did. And then he did find one called Dermaco that, no, no, it's not Dermaco. I forgot the name of it. We, I carried it, and he said, yeah, this one has one probiotic in it, but that's it, and the skin colonizer has, I don't know how many, I forgot, a dozen or so, or and then it's got nine different oils, so again, this is the brilliance of Shane, it's a fantastic um, oil that you put in your skin, it's like putting a pillow on your skin, It's when you're walking around with it all the time, it's, it feels great. There are those bacteria strains that are the most predominant types of bacteria strains or flora for the, for the skin. As Dr. Morris has phrased it, this is a living and breathing oil that we're very proud of. And I think that's why it has its unique healing properties is because of those bacteria strains, not only because of the moisturizing oils. I know you've also had some successes with the products Neurosin and Calm. So Neurosin and Calm are great for the nervous system. There's a test I do with the muscle testing and to test the nervous system. What it is, is you have the patient write 
their name on paper and hold their other arm up. They need to be able to keep their arm up. And if they can't, you know that their nervous system is problematic. You got fine motor skills, you have visual, they're looking as they write their name, and the nerve transference of information from the brain to the fingertips to move the pen. So you know something's broken in there. So I do this all the time. I've been doing this for years. And when Calm and Neurosyn, they came out together, I started testing them and it was like a home run. And people can hold those supplements or one of them in their hand and their arm is super strong as they write their name. And the patient always, 100% of the time, is like mouth open aghast at how profound the change was. They could see it. You know, they could tell that their brain was like not working and they writing their name, they couldn't hold their arm up. Then they hold the pills and their arm was strong. It's like, it's profound for the patient. So add on top of that, you know, ketosis and, you know, getting rid of mold and mercury and all that kind of stuff, you know. So calm is what it, it says it is. It's calming. And the neurosyn is like brain food. I've had neurosyn get rid of horrible migraines too. And again, the test is have the patient write their name. Can they hold their arm up? Another one is have them read. They can read out loud or not. Just reading. Um, and then also um, scanning from left to right or scanning from right to left. Or I have them look at two things at the same time. Let's say they're in the room. They're looking at the doorknob and the light switch at the same time. So their eyes are going back and forth a little bit. Can they hold their arm up as they do that? And if they can't, then it's going to be neurocenter calm to help feed that organ known as the nervous system. And have you found that neurocin has been applicable for all ages? You know, yeah. Not only adults, but also youth or children as well? Yeah. What are some of the improvements that you have seen, perhaps, with, with neurosyn? When your nervous system isn't working very well. I mean, just start dozens and dozens. So it could be neuropathy, it could be lack of coordination, it could be dizziness, it could be the in, inside trembling feeling, the sort of anxiety type feeling. Yeah. All right, so Z gluten, um, I had a guy, he, uh, <clears throat> I did the muscle testing. He, I, I said, you have a problem with gluten? He goes, well, I haven't had gluten in three years. I said, great, don't start. So I put him on Z-gluten. And he was a golfer. He's a dentist. He liked to golf. And uh, he came back the next um, visit. And he said his joint pain was much, much reduced. And his energy was up. His golf game was better. But the biggest factor was that his golf game was so much better. So Z-gluten, I mean, it's enzymes, right, that can clean the body out and get rid of unwanted protein, but it's designed to clear out gluten. So you can have food from three years ago or more still sitting in your gut or in your body, in your joints. And this is not some made-up fantasy. This is in the research, you know, like autistic kids, you give them dairy, you know, until they're eight and they stop eating dairy. And then three years later, they still have dairy, you know, they still have uh, dairy proteins in their body. That's in the research. So that sort of concept of cleaning your body out from unwanted food particles that are causing damage, you have to consider Z-gluten as a primary for cleaning out uh, gluten, even if somebody's been avoiding it for three years. So moving on, I'm going to move over to vitamin D3 liquid LQ. So my girlfriend is also a chiropractor focusing on nutrition. She runs more blood work than I do. And she's told me that the vitamin D3 LQ is um, her favorite vitamin D supplement because it raises the D level in the blood faster and higher than any other D. So one squirt is like 3,000 units of D. But, and you could say, well, you know, I can get a 5,000 unit capsule or 10,000 unit capsule. But the point of the D liquid is got all these other factors that help the body absorb the D better. And you look around like the colors, you know, like the floating food that's in there. That's like, I think that's pineapple. It's got all these foods in there that make your body absorb D better. Um, so a big fan of that. For new practitioners, you know, I have, if your patients are, most, most Americans are D deficient, whether they live in the South or the North, because everybody just stays inside. 
So I have a lot of times I help people cycle on and off D, like let's say one squirt a day for nine months. Then the rest, like in the summertime, they're off of it because they're more likely to get more sun outside. Okay, I'll move over to cater, if you don't mind. So cater, standing for kidney diuretic. Um, this is my favorite product for raising GFR, which is gl glomerular filtration rate. That's one of the main tasks for kidney function. Now, if the GFR is down below, let's say 10, and they're on dialysis, or you know they're near getting on dialysis, it's really hard to get them off dialysis or to raise up that GFR. But if their GFR is 20 or 30 or 35, I've had success getting that, those kidneys back in shape. So Cater like helps flush out the kidneys and it also gets rid of kidney stones. It helps get rid of other stones too, like gallstones. But then you can also throw in K kidney and KS kidney. But when it comes to ki kidney function and low GFR, you got to make sure they're eating protein, animal protein, which is the opposite of what everybody says. Everybody says, you know, meat is bad for the kidneys and all that. That's not true. That's based on bad science known as observational studies. Um, the real studies, the real science, are that's called clinical trials or randomized control trials. So I found just last week a randomized control trial of, I, I, I'm sorry, it's not randomized control, was it? Yeah, it was. Anyways, the point is the people that increased their protein from 90 to 110 grams a day had better kidney function, better kidney volume. And the people that lowered their kidney in uh, their protein intake from 90 to 70 doubled their mortality and lowered their GFR more and increased their kidney disease. So raising the protein raises GFR, which is a good thing. You want better filtration rates in the kidneys. So there's there's a good protocol right there for kidneys is K K S cater and eat more meat. And they're you know people freak out and you can. You got to show them the randomized control trial on that. LB liver. So that's for liver and gallbladder. A big fan of that. I'm always testing that every time I find a gallbladder problem. And of course, the liver and the gallbladder work together. So that product is well designed in that you can address the liver and the gallbladder together. And then the G adrenal. Um, every time I find a, a weak adrenal, I'm always testing for that to see if the body needs that. Um, so it's just fantastic for improving energy and um, the way Doc Wheelwright put these together is you're also addressing other organs that are endocrine, you know, related endocrinology, what's the word, in the endocrine system and plus all those uh, brilliant herbs that nobody in America knows about because they come from South America or China. <laughs> and then GF thyroid, I'm a huge fan of that. It increases energy on somebody that's got low thyroid function. It's got some adrenal support in there. Um, GB pituitary pineal, another great product with the multiple endocrine organ function and support. So um, I use that a lot too. So when you when you want to cover when you want to address an endocrine organ, I mean, oftentimes you're not just address you don't want to just address that one because they're all related, you know, the foot bones related to the leg bone, right? Everything, all the, the adrenals are related to the thyroid, you know, related to the pituitary, et cetera. So that's how Doc Wheelwright, Wheelwright put those together uh, using the principles actually founded by um, um, uh, Henry Harrower, the father of endocrinology. Now, another thing Doc Wheelwright did in a lot of these products, he put a bunch of calcium in there. And I had a conversation with Shane about that when we were talking about lactic acidosis. Because back in the 30s and sort of like early 40s, but mostly the 30s, they're trying to fix lactic acidosis by adding in what they called alkaline minerals. So I don't want to get into all the physiology of lactic acidosis, but it has the word acid in it, right? Meaning that the pH is too low. And the blood is a little bit acidic, not enough to kill you yet, but it's too acidic. It's still in the normal range. And so back then they put in uh, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Those are the alkaline minerals. So that's probably why Doc Wheelwright put a lot of calcium 
in a lot of these minerals. When I had this conversation with Shane, he goes, oh, he goes, I always wondered why grandpa put calcium in these. So there's that. So, so that's Doc Wheelwright's attempt at like helping fix the mechanism at the same time as addressing the organs themselves directly. You had mentioned just briefly earlier, you know, that when, when they're tested for parasites, a systemic formulas does have four specific products targeting different types of parasites. When do these come into play uh, for you, the, the VRM formulas by systemic? Well, when I find parasites doing, doing the muscle testing, um, and I'd have to say that it's quite surprising that, you know, you do this muscle testing procedure, it looks so simple, the arm goes down, but it's actually far reaching and profound. And then next thing you know, the patient's talking about pooping out parasites. So that's where, you know, like you got to find the parasites, you got to address it. Now, let's say you suspect parasites, but you don't do muscle testing. And even the stool analysis can come back normal. And you want to do a cleanse. You can have the patient do VRM, you know, like one and three or something like that. Or you, the VR, I'm a big fan of that VRM one. And as a, for practitioners, I'd like to uh, encourage you to open up a capsule and taste it and smell it. Make sure you understand the personality of these products. And that's what's unique about these as opposed to like, meta, you know, prescription drugs, which taste, you know, or smell horrible. They smell like a chemical factory. These products have personality and, and character. And you're matching the product with the condition of the body, right? So when you're giving somebody VRM1, if you've never smelled it, you've never tasted it, you've never taken it, you don't even have to take it, but just as long as you smell it and taste it. <laughs> you know the complexity in there, the nature that's in there, the, you know, the, um, the herbs that are in there, and the effect that they're going to have on the intestines and on the parasites that are going to get wiped out, you know? So we got the, the list here, powdiarco, black walnut, rose hips, um, there's um, garlic, hops, valerian. Valerian is a tonic. People think valerian it helps you go to sleep. It does. But it gives your body energy to go to sleep. Bro it's got bromelain for uh, enzyme to help clean out unwanted proteins. And there's a couple of um, herbs that come from some foreign land. <laughs> and then the worm, uh, worm seed oil. So that's what's in the VRM1. I'd like to throw in the... Uh, W.O. oil from Systemic Formulas, which is worm seed oil. It smells very pepperminty. It's like sunlight. And worms and cockroaches and vermin hate sunlight. So when I tell people to put W.O. oil on their tongue because they have thrush, you know, or, or some scenario, or I have them put W.O. oil in a capsule and they swallow it, it's like, yeah, we're going to add sunlight into your body and in the, in the cockroaches and the bugs and all that stuff they're going to hate that and they're going to die or they're going to run out they're going to run away i had a woman i put her on vrm1 i i don't remember if i had her on worm wo oil or not but she had a parasite come out of her body when she was sitting on the toilet and it was still alive like it was trying to run out of her what we've been able to present here today and uh, as you've been able to walk through your process and uh, and how you use these different products is going to be very useful. And so, Dr. Darren, I thoroughly appreciate you being on this podcast with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me on.